Hey, what's up? What's good? What's happening? It's a brand new week. We're here in the studios of One Play Africa. I'm Joseph A. B. 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 O. B. I. When I tell you, say, Phil, oh, Phil, I don't even say anything about this. So, for me. Charlie, I'm not happy at all. Why? Somebody created account today, and she has 2,000 oh, followers. I'm struggling to get 100. <laughs> Charlie. You don't, you don't have followers. I have 7,000, but 7,000, it's been like two years now, bro. Charlie. Yeah, blue. Mona, mona, blue. Hey, you're welcome to the show. As always, I mean, like I say, thank you so much for making us a part of your day. This is the only show that brings you all the fillers in town. Thanks to the ever gorgeous Tilly Ekianifa. Ekia. And then, Phil, I'm not saying what I'm born. Charlie, I'm born in the I'm in the Brem. Yo, Kelvin Boys, new track. It's popping. Down flat is popping like big time. Mm. And as usual, he went live. When he went live, as usual, there was a chopstick on his mouth. Long, <laughs> long and bozy. Chopstick on fire, long and bozy. Hey, <laughs> y'all, little boy, feel free, y'all. <laughs> Tell Let him feel free. Let's, let's jump straight to the first story, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. All right, so uh, this is coming from Kwame Eugene. And he said, he just ended a call with some dude. He was like, I need you to just say, rock star. <laughs> we didn't come here to play in the beginning of my song. How much did you charge me? Charlie, I mean, when, I mean. <laughs> when we say take your time and build a branch, you think we we're lying? Mm. See, I have an interview with Kwame, wherever you were, in case you see this video. I have an interview with Kwame Eugene where he said, Rock star, we dig at the end, go ahead, cut, send me the money. <laughs> <laughs> Send me the money. Go ahead, cut it. It is my it is for one play Africa. We did the interview. Mm. He signed it all for us. <laughs> so go ahead, cut it. You say Charlie. I feel like I mean people would think he's being a homaso, he's being, you know, proud, like it's pride. No, it's not pride. Let people know that the work you put in is is ripping off. It's giving you profit. Because why would somebody just say that's Bosu? My young, what do you mean perverse? They say rock star. It means that this is a guy that has solidified himself as someone that gives hit songs. So that once you hear the rock, you know that it is a hit song. And such title doesn't go to people easily. A lot of artists in the industry. But for somebody to call you and say, hey, Tilly, I know there are so many presenters, but you, you they just say, introduce my, my, my music video, let it play. It means that I must have put in a certain work that is ripping off now. So for me, I won't come from a place of he's proud or I won't be jealous. No, 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 no. But my question is, Bosu, why don't you just ask for a face? <laughs> why don't you just ask for a rock star? What if on the mouth, that's your name, baby, baby, and you cry? What a rock star? Well, I, I think that uh, as this is just uh, like the, the, the artist is just trying to appreciate the fact that, mm -hmm. you know, Eugene is that big. So he just needs just a little bit of his voice on his song yeah i mean it's like an endorsement you want to do a project you know that this project if you get certain voices endorsing it for you people will take it a bit more serious people it, it has the potential to blow right. that is why i'm saying that you all have to we all have to work put in the words let people know for something and once we do or they do it will be easy to make money off saying do it now a time will come i will be so big so huge People will be like, yo, Tilly, Charlie, I'm doing this project. You just do it. If you don't say, watch out or do, just say, do it now. Mm -hmm. At the end. Mm -hmm. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely get the word there. So we're waiting for y'all to. By the way, it. this thing reminds me of Sarkozy's line that he said. Mm -hmm. He said, huh? People, Thank they you. take. I want the G loan. I'm done the equity. All right, moving on. Uh, we have one here from MOG Beats, and he's saying that getting Nigerian acts on my EP seems a lot easier than getting some of my own brothers from Ghana on the EP. Well, it looks like EP, you know, um, producers owning a body of work or owning their works now is becoming a thing. Something they did with Gold Digger. Black Sheriff, and it's a big song. I know DJ Baroski did one with um, Adina and Kwame Uji. All correct, all correct. And the song is all correct, on par. It's a, it's, a, it's a big thing. I feel like producers have a lot of power, and it's about time they harness it. Let the artists know that, yo, more no more your performance, like you. 
Why is no? Sometimes, <laughs> if you listen to Nasi, most of these songs, right, it is there anyway to. The artists come there, who took on the crown to me to work. No, my, can you say anything? And you remember the 99.99 air hey, producer, and then, but hey, the artist goes away, they are acting all big and all. I feel like in Ghana, when we say that the industry is not moving, one of our biggest problems as an industry when it comes to the music part is people showing appreciation or giving back to people that have supported them one way or the other. And this is what he's experiencing. And Nigeria knows what emoji. This are Nigeria said they fuck with emoji. What's his name? Joe Boy came here. I asked him he's fuck with emoji before. He knows what emoji song has done for him. Even if he didn't get a huge hit song from it, he, it might have propelled his career in a certain way. Maybe that song fell on the right ear and then got him certain deals that he probably couldn't have gotten without that emoji beat thing. And mind you, most of these Ghanaian artists that are being reluctant to, you know, give back to Emoji, you'll be surprised that most of your songs do not even belong to you. It belongs to Emoji. Mm -hmm. That is if you've done a song with him before. All right. He just has it, doesn't even know what he, he has as a, as a producer yet. But when he starts learning and he starts claiming, most of your songs that you've done with him, it's not for you. So you better go and pay him back by giving him a song on his EP. <laughs> it's appreciation. Ghanaians, right. we don't know how to appreciate. We don't know how to give back to people that have done us good. Mm. We don't, actually. Because why would a producer like Emochi count the hit songs that he has given to? Even if the power of his song, that. Do you get it? Why would I come to you and say, yo, Charlie, bro, I won't do my EP? Like, I will feel you'll be in a hurry because it's a producer that gives his songs. So I would think Ghanaians would rather be in a hurry. See, yo, let's do this. Charlie, some people cry for call, Charlie, Emo. Why don't go put it for your EP to hey, tell you, bro? Because this guy has the potential of creating a hit EP. I know, right? Do you get it? Mm -hmm. And mind you, it's a circle. I spoke to DJ Byros and I asked him that the fact that he's a producer, uh, I mean, a producer and a DJ, is he getting his friends doing him adore to play his song? He was like, yeah, they are doing it. Others too are, you know, susupon. But when you look at Sam Snare and how he got the gold guy hit on boom, you, know, you could see that Charlie, they all know that it is interconnected. Why do artists always feel like they are the most important people in the circle? Uh, that's a conversation for another day. Charlie, <laughs> feel like we say, mm -hmm. never, never, ever date a short man unless it's an emergency. Oh. I don't know because in the bush we are all short. Papa, it's a for me, I don't all know right. what emergency happened. In my mother's what life, that ended what up in me. Is that? <laughs> I don't know. That's like, uh, hey, I'll cross out with an idea. Emergency. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's what I'm going to say. Hey, emergency. Emergency welfare. Moving on, I mean, beautiful stories today. Uh, this is from the songbird who happens to be Jackie. She says that on the 14th of February, she's spreading love. You know, there is, I mean, one beautiful story that I really love so much. And she says that she will select one emerging artist to shoot a decent video for, for free, absolutely free. No charges, no entitlement, just love. And she says she'll be doing this in conjunction with other, at Flip Music, uh, Flip the Music, right? So kindly post your content under this tweet for selection. Oh, then it didn't come on. Oh, then it Yo, this is, this is dope. This is cool. And I know Trailer has come on board and some media houses want to promote the song for, you know, for free to when the project is done. Please, let me just reiterate this, just in case. The no entitlement, you know, it's not from her side, though. from you, the artist. <laughs> you better put that in the back of your mind. No entitlement. I feel like once somebody says that, oh, I want to help you, we, the youth of Ghana, we have some audacious entitlement to that help please i know that maybe she wrote it not saying that don't be entitled or maybe she will not be entitled or something but i feel like the artist should also learn something from it whichever artist is going to help you with no entitlement it's not by force that she is going to do her best but it's not composed that that song will blow it is not automatic that the song will blow so if she does her best put in her best for you now someone who said, oh, the next minute she's promoting her, her product. Oh, I'm like, eh, she didn't like, she didn't promote. Jackie just like, no, no entitlement on your part too. Mm. Put that in the back of your mind. No entitlement. And I feel this is beautiful. I mean, Jackie, 
her first video that caught a lot of attention was forever and people had a lot of things to say and the, the video and and then and then, and then, and then a lot of things i've had pundits as usual we don't shoot but we know how to complain mm -hmm. give a lot of complaints so if she feels this is my way of giving back i think it's it's cool like it's so cool and i feel like it should have come from a videographer <laughs> No, but I mean, looking at the story, I think that it is all right because it falls on the 14th of February. Yeah, Where love. I mean, love, yeah, love. I mean, the ultimate love. form of love. Exactly. She could have simply said on the 14th, I'll take one of you out. And then we see the honey boys and I go, hey, take us out. <laughs> but after the date, what's next? But this is a project that will, whichever YouTube page you put it on, it lasts forever. Well, it's instead, there, right. Charlie. Right. This is dope. Anyway, you're still hanging out here with us on One Play Africa. This show we call Fill Out Fill Up. Uh, we're going for a quick break. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Don't look me like zombie. Don't play with me. I know Bilu do what you be. Don't play with me. Your people. These are the original AK Songstress, the Dance Hall Empress, the Don Dana. And you're watching. One Play Africa. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to the studios of One Play Africa. I'm Joseph A.B. in the studio with the Avogadjuris, Celia Kionipa. And she's giving us all the filler in town for the day. Charlie, apparently one legendary artist, as part of his legendary day-to-day -day activity, three hours of sexual activity kept him legendary. So if you're an artist, and you, you pee only once a month or once a week. Forget, you can't reach legendary <laughs> status. It is a three-hour ah, mandatory yeah, daily. Yeah, hey, also daily activity. <laughs> it means that if I want to reach the pinnacle of my career as a presenter, three, three hours. hours. <laughs> really? <a> boy. <laughs> Yo, this is an advice I would advise you not to take, please. <laughs> hey. Are you bigger than this artist? No, we don't want to be bigger than the artist. No, 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 he's a legend. Yeah, I feel like if Osivisa was doing that thing, all of them were doing by right now, their names would have they, been memorable they, all they the should, time. They should take their legend. No, 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 no boss. Charlie Obede. <laughs> Obede, we want you to be a legendary. Shatter, Stone, Samini, Tira West Daily, Mufama Yo. I'm sure we'll have one of them come out to say that, yo, three hours. And it's three seconds. Now we need to be here. Hey. Yeah. Hey, wow. <laughs> Wait, yeah. I'm so sorry, Twasso. <laughs> yeah, well, moving on, we've got this uh, post some that he actually took a picture of Guel, you know, at a full crisis. And he was like, the devil the way, but a greedy old man day on game on time. Right. Charlie. It's hard, though. Charlie, it's hard. The full prices has short, but for some funny reason, Nowadays, when I pick my uh, my tinted calf, prices now say I go for one now. Go on the stage and again on this car. Empty. Want to some other cars? I'm sure our auto drivers will soon be going on strike again. Yeah, because now when I pick their car from wherever to here, and I give them the money, they give me change. That is, as a what the price some of me. Hey. But the price of phone has gone up, so I don't know. Hey. God, God, oh, it is God. Oh. <laughs> now, God, oh. now these guys like you. No, 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 we say they like me. God is telling the child again, would you want that? And I would do that more than I would call the deal. That's what I say. Yes. <laughs> on that note, um, for all of y'all who love to leave, you have to pass so much, Charlie. Look, there's this cute car she told me that she loves, right? For Val's Day, 14, just around the corner, Charlie. DMs no doors, no do do. Cheryl, do. Y'all come get a car. You know what I mean? And also then, I will share the link to all the people that have DMs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All the other DMs, she's coming out. You know, when you DM, DM, man, I like you, and then they fight to see. Oh, fuck, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Hey, Charlie. Three goes on. All right. Anyway, move on. Uh, we have Michael Blackson today. Hey, Kwesiata. What about Kwesiata? Oh, okay. Kwesiata is Charlie. I feel like he's one of the people that doesn't talk about anything All in right. this industry. Mm. He doesn't talk about anything social, anything political, nothing. Kwesiata. Oh, no, no. Like, 
he, he does yo he's in the studio doing John Wick things he doesn't <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have time to kind of follow you know right yeah he's that kind of artist that when you tweet at him after 24 hours that's to come and retweet I feel like I'm about online so <laughs> they're causing your own but for him to tweet this thing that can somebody people with political ears as I call their can interpret it it means that yo the boys boys say bleed on the side right. but this thing to tell him so it is our politicians is calling the greedy, mm. <laughs> greedy and old, the old man is. and the demon. Yeah, greedy old. There are some demon times. Yes, I've been for a hey, political politician. They may not have been for. <laughs> <laughs> they they cause the stress on the streets. Mm. Yeah, but I feel like yo, he shouldn't wait for things to get to him or to affect him directly before he speaks out. Because mind you, a lot of people consume your product, which is the music, but you don't see Kusiata associating with social issues that affects the people it if he wasn't going to buy and saw the thing and then took that he wasn't going to talk about it but this thing is happening we have elefi this thing things that affect the people that consume your product he doesn't care maybe he's not a current affair person maybe he doesn't follow or maybe he just doesn't care or maybe he just doesn't want to you know blur the lines because you know people have political ears whatever you tweet it becomes a problem now they want to attach that to the work you do right. so maybe he's trying to stay off that but once you you make it known that when it affects you personally, there yeah, you can say. But when it affects your fans that you don't care, then it's a problem. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Any other question? There was someone who can tell me can be man. Who's any idea? Because she that that's why just kept quiet and suffered. If you don't like talking about things like this, do you get it? Okay. Yeah. But then if you talk about it, it means that if I want and I affect you directly, there will be can. But affect you with fans, don't with you and make you who you are in the F1. Mm. It's not nice. All right, it's not nice. But it Tilly says it's not nice, yo. I mean, Charlie, you need to start voicing out. Because you, you have the power, you have the voice, you know? You have the voice of the people. Mm -hmm. You need to start speaking up to, you know, some some stuff like this. No, so you mean like speaking up to st stuff like this? When you say speaking up to, it makes me look like confronting the police. These things, they're a, a bit dicey. But, you know, letting people know that just as they deal for you as your fans you deal for them that is it okay yeah all right moving on uh we've got michael blackson uh and he says he has a picture with the baby and he says we're talking about him performing in ghana at the baby That's what nice. is the filler here i feel like first of all i have a lot of questions here michael blackson what does he come and do in ghana comes with you hey Date me, please, because hey, it's too much. Like, he comes off, you know. No, did you say he should date you? Hey, let me chill now, Kai. Hey, who well, that? Which lady has to chill? Me, see how I come around, make I say, chill the minor come with you. Me, 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 no, 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 me, me, no, 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 Maybe rock still watching I'm on it. Say actually, like, I do get it. I'm I like, understand. yeah, I'm like this man. He chills. You know this art. Like if he he was to be an artist and he comes together, you know, oh, there's a possible collab. But when Vic Mensa comes here, he goes away. There's a song. This man, cause I don't know what exactly he's doing here. It's like enjoyment. Any of you on it? No, no, ha. No, no, no. Like, uh, I mean, he has the money to spend. So he's a comedian and an actor. If the the industry where he finds his, himself in in the United States of America, he comes to Ghana and he doesn't get that vibe, what is he supposed to do? Well, sorry to say, but he's building schools. I hear he's building schools in Ghana, so and houses. So if that is what is keeping him here, why not? Okay. And I think bringing the baby is top. Yo, Charlie, I feel like all these people they all have their roots back here in Ghana for some funny reason. All these Black Americans they feel like Ghana is an integral part, and it's true when you look at our history. Ghana was where they all came before they transported them out. So here they have their so they should come back, come and do shows, meet all these dope artists, the new ones, the old and they shouldn't be always mingling with the people that have the old sounds. Mingle with the new school, they will introduce you to new things, Charlie. <laughs> Mingle with the new school, they introduce you to new things, Charlie. Now now new school and chasing the baby. Yo, we're running out of time, but we have one last story before we go. And this is coming from Kamido, who has a beautiful song out right now. Everybody's jamming to some title 
uh, Sugar Cane, go check it out. And he says, I don't ever want to get carried away. And that's why I marginalize my wins in my head sometimes and keep going on. I feel like she needs, okay, well, if it is inbuilt, it is good for him. Some of us, we don't have that thing inbuilt. So we always have people that marginalize the thing for us. And it comes, it comes the hard way. Mm. You feel so bad for yourself. What's your kind of routine? You say, crap. I think I crap my arm. I enjoy my enjoyment. I'm working off my mind. I mean, these things, it keeps you on your toes. It yeah. keeps you grounded. Else, this industry, if you get carried away, that's your fault. You're down for. Mm. It's as simple as ABC. If you get small hate song, and you're like, hey, me, Charlie. The next thing, another hate song has come. Your song has become dead news. Mm. So if he is able to do that, that thing, he's able to draw it intrinsically, then it's a good thing for him because some of us, we can't draw it intrinsically. We are learning, but we have a, a extrinsic motivation to that. <laughs> they marginalize our ways to us. Come, look at some corner. Come, what can I say? They will fuck what can I say? And it's keeping us on our toes right. to do more, to make sure we are better. And I feel if that is how he goes about it, he might have, probably have a longer lifespan in the industry okay all right beautiful by so, the way by the way by the way as a car guy be a drop a love song i don't know say when you're broken house on this show but i saw two now so so and yo jay bad what's up what's up she said that could be three never did it well i didn't know yeah hard guy hard guy hard guy when i broke it up i did three oh you know what i offer my condom condom <laughs> all right so we're done with the fellas right yeah 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 Charlie. all right so uh coming down wherever you did Charlie. congratulations to you man we are super excited for you i mean Charlie, beautiful song and we are hopeful that you keep feeding us with lots and lots of nice nice songs like this yeah 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 like i said we have to bounce out to the studios don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms i want to play africa when you get on YouTube, it is at One Play Africa. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all right, and turn on the notification button. You get anything on top? No, no, I am poor, I am poor, Charlie. Right. Please follow us, Silly AQNIPA, on Twitter, Instagram, and on Facebook. Uh, follow me as well, at Joseph underscore A underscore B. We are out of the studio. It is a wrap. Y'all have a beautiful day. Enjoy it. One play, one play, one play, add class to your music.